Welcome to ESPNU Road Trip, presented by Dr. Pepper. I'm Nikki Noto. I'm Ali Najad. This week, we are in the beautiful Bay Area and on campus at the University of California, Berkeley, also known as Cal. Founded in 1868, this is a school pretty much known for academics. In fact, Cal grads have earned 71 Nobel Prizes, but they've also turned out quite a few athletes. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, Marshawn Lynch, Aaron Rodgers, ring a bell? Yeah, I've heard of those guys. <laughs> so it's big game week, and Cal is hosting Stanford with hopes of taking back the axe with a big win on Saturday. This is where I went to school and grew up. I can't wait to show you around. It's your first time. Let's start out our brand new stage. Oh, I can't wait. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we're inside the staff room here inside the stadium with Coach Jeff Tedford. And I know that what we're standing in right now in this stadium, this renovation, and what it took to bring it to fruition had a lot to do with your efforts. Well, thanks. It's uh, a lot of people's hard work and energy, and we've been waiting for this for a long time. It's just been a real blessing to, to see all this turn out the way it did. Now, having come to Cal Games for much of my life, I remember the old stadium, and I understand you have some stories about fans would send you things from the old stadium? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had uh, the old wooden benches when people would come to the game, and they'd leave here with a souvenir <laughs> in their pants. Sometimes oh. they would mail those back to me in an envelope saying, Shut can up. you please do something with the seats? Yeah. And yeah. you you listen, you listen to the people. And now look at what happened. Yeah, it was all because of the splinters. Yeah. All because of the splinters. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be on the field and we'll see you after a big Cal W and we'll get the ax back. Sounds great. Let's do it. Yes. Oh, I'm going to teach you something. Top Gun. You remember the movie Top Gun? Yeah. Remember how they high fives in the volleyball court? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There it is, oh. Top Gun. <laughs> nice, Tedford edition. Coach Tedford is officially in on road trip. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm in a movie theater right now, and I didn't bring any popcorn. That's all right. I'm sure Keenan can make arrangements. Here with Keenan Allen, one of the star receivers on the Cal Golden Bears, inside the film room, the receivers yeah. room, and it gets real. It gets real. <laughs> Things get real. So, as a receiver, what's the number one thing that you're looking for when you come in here to look at film? Uh, well, I look at the corners and the safeties. Yeah. That's my, my focus. Matchup. Yeah. Now, the guy who's actually throwing you the rock. Is related. You guys are brothers. Zach Maynard, the quarterback. Let's say Zach maybe overthrows you, or maybe it's an incompletion, and you're like, "Really, I was open. What happened?" Do you let him hear it later? At it home? depends on what down it is. If it's first down, I let it slide. <laughs> Third down, gotta go after him. <laughs> you guys don't change locks on each other, do you? Just in case after nah. a bad game, you're like, "You're not coming home." No, really, you're not coming home. Try to get him. <laughs> nah, not really. If he has a bad game, I, I don't really say too much. I just let it go. Now, talk about big game. Stanford's coming to town. What does this week mean? It's a little strange to be playing in October as opposed to toward the end of the yeah, season, but is there a little extra something that? in it? Well, of course, a little extra something, you know, and all these interviews and media keep telling us that they're the seven best defense in the country, as in rushing, so, you See, know. So you don't even listen to the stats. You don't even care. I don't really team. care about them. I mean, no, I, I, I love I hearing things like that because, you know, when you go out there and perform, you know, just execute the assignments we need to do, you know, it just shows that, uh, you know, we have athletes over here, too. We ain't had the ax in a while. And it's all about getting that axe back. And as, as a backfield, that's all we've been talking about. What can I expect on Saturday with this game? Oh, crazy, crazy, crazy crowd. First of all, take off that red shirt. Oh. Don't wear red nowhere in the crowd or the whole crowd going to point at you. And then I'm somebody going to end up trying to take your shirt off. Take off hey. that red shirt. They're going to say it just take like that. Take off that red shirt. Like right. continuously. Yeah. So we're hanging out on the field in the end zone with Richard Rogers tied in. Now, this end zone has a lot of significance in your family because your dad was a part of the play. The play. Was your dad the coolest dad ever when you were growing up? Maybe to other people. Not to me, though. I mean, oh, you know. dad. Oh, dad. Nah, he was cool. He was cool. And he was a football coach, so. Did he teach you laterals? He was pretty good at that. <laughs> Yeah, he was good at it. <laughs> Look, Richard Rogers' father was involved in two of the laterals in the play, so we feel like it's only appropriate to recreate a fantastic moment in California Golden Bear football history. Du, 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 du. I'm so ready for oh, this. Oh, look at me. I went to Stanford. Any, any time when game. I can. Oh, look at me. Oh, we won the game. Oh, Stanford's so great. Oh, we think we won the game. Oh. <laughs> oh. Richard, was that a touchdown? Is that how it happened? That is a touchdown. Yeah! Go Bears. Uh, here, I'll be nice. I'm still alive, but I'm mangled. <laughs>
I'm here with Kalina, and Kalina is the chair of the rally committee, which is a pretty big deal on campus here at Cal. But Kalina, I have to ask you, why in the world are we walking up this hill? So right up this hill is actually one of the oldest monuments here on campus. It's called the Big C, and basically it's just a big cement C. It's actually one of the most targeted areas on campus by Stanford, that school across the bay. <laughs> um, they like to paint it red. They like to mess with it. So we like to keep it yellow because that's what it should be. All right, so this is it. This is the Big C, huh? This is in all of its glory. Wow, what a beautiful view. Best view on campus. It's gorgeous. It looks like the sea is under control and taken care of, but I definitely came to Cal and I want to help out. So is there anything else I can do to get ready for the big game? Yeah, so we may not be able to have you paint the sea today, but we definitely have something that you can paint. Ooh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry for how this is going to turn out. good so far. Here comes the A. We are getting somewhere with this painting. See what I did there? Yep. Oh, and the belly button. Oh, the belly. We're getting in the belly button. Ta da! Is this what you've been doing this whole time? <laughs> yeah, it's from art class. You've been playing Cal. painting and crafts. You want to do night rally? These yeah, guys are coming with. Are we coming yeah, with? We are. Oh, yeah, Absolutely. we are. You guys ready? Let's spread cheer. Oh. Dang it! <laughs> That was awesome. There is no shortage of school spirit here at Cal. I love it. It's not over yet. We have more cheers, more stops. You guys keep watching Road Trip. We'll be right back. <laughs> Pepper, we're at the Speaker Aquatics Complex, and a lot of greatness has come out of that pool. Yeah, Cal is known for a fantastic swim program, but the men's water polo team has won 13 national championships, more than any other school in the nation, and I was lucky enough to get an invite to hop in the pool from Coach Kirk Everest today, so I'm going to go throw all my trunks. Yeah. Sounds like a disaster. I hope they have a lifeguard on duty. <laughs> We got the big game coming up on Saturday, but yep. what some people don't know is even earlier than the noon kickoff is the big splash between Cal and Stanford here in the pool. Right. How special is that? It's a great game. You know, it's probably the best game and the best atmosphere in college water polo here in the United States. You know, wow. you've got us, Cal's won 13 national championships, Stanford's won 10. You know, you tend to go head to head and we're always up for a championship, so this game's always a big, uh, big deal. Well, I actually don't have my trunks. I thought I had packed them, so I guess I'm not going to be able to get in the pool. Well, here, why don't we just do this? Where's the rest of it? Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good luck. Really, Coach, with the youth small? God, at least tell me the water's warm. It fits, right? Yeah, There's no, only one way to find out if the water's warm. Come on. Let's oh, go. Hey! I found Ayal Kirin. He's pretty much a stud on the team. Utility guy means he plays every single position. So I figure you can teach me what I need to know about practicing water polo today. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. All right, so what's first? First of all, you need to know how to swim, you know? It's, uh, this is the basic. You need to know how to swim <laughs> okay. and, and not to drown, you know? All right, so how do I, how do I, I see you guys always just floating so effortless. It's called egg beater. We use just egg beater? Our, yeah, egg beater. Like That's you, a cooking move. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so what is this? And you need to use your legs, pretty much. All legs, no arms? No arms, you can just... Uh, I'm drunk! <laughs> and then you need to know how to swim with the ball, so first of all... The, okay. Uh, you're not so bad, actually. <laughs> you have to learn how to actually stand in the water. Okay. You need to know how to pass the ball, so... All right, let's pass. It's only with one hand. You can use two both hands. Can I use a header? Yeah, if you want. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> just catch and pass. Man, this takes so much stamina. Yeah, Is it shooting time? I think so. One in, one in, one in! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. This sucks! Oh. 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 
I challenge anyone on the football team to get in this pool with these guys. Anybody. CJ, EC, I'm talking to you. Coach, what you think? Well, I think we got a new nickname for you. What? The anchor. Anchor like the guy you can count on. No, kind of like you sink to the bottom. Really, right now? I think you need some more work. I'm in. Practice time. Yeah. Yeah. They can't have a bonfire, but they've got the next best thing. Everybody yep, here. propane. <laughs> Listen, we know that Cal is a school that prides itself on academics. But talk to me about the investment you've made in the athletic program and how you've tried to strengthen it since you've been here. So at Cal, we have a commitment to excellence in everything we do. So we have Nobel Prize winners. We have Olympic gold medal winners. We're also great academics. And so if we do it at Cal, we want to be among the best in the nation in the world. That includes that letter. In 1982, we were feeling the fire, and I said, this is our territory. We're claiming it in my senior year, and I just ended it said, you know it, you tell the tour story, you tell the whole damn world, this is bad territory. First and ten, do it again, go, bear. Now this is a rally, Nikki. No better way to get ready for the big game tomorrow. But we have to check out. It's time to show you Telegraph. Tele what? <laughs> We're here on Telegraph Avenue, which is pretty much the heartbeat of Cal campus. You can find just about anything you want. It's totally eclectic. Anything? Anything. We hear the Golden Bear. We need some spots to hang out, so show me the way. All right, Nikki, Kips is a mandatory stop when you're at Cal. Oh, yeah? Yes. Prove it. David, I don't have to prove it. How you doing? My man's got us right here. Good. I'm doing good. good. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now we'll do the double look. And back we go. looks like. We are not at the hottest club in town. We're actually at the coldest, and it's cold cream. <laughs> $2 ice cream sandwiches. You can't beat that when you're on a college budget, but this could be a while. Yeah, so you guys keep watching Road Trip. We'll be right back because, well, we stand in line for ice cream on this show. But we're going to have ice cream soon, and that yes, makes everyone happy. Do we have, um, I don't know, maybe a time travel or something? Because this is vintage Ali, probably back when he was a first yeah. year. It's like Hot Top Time Machine. I was you. 16 years ago. Rachel quit the corporate. in men's water polo, the two winningest teams ever in this sport. I'm fired up. Why aren't you out there? Coach, Coach you? put me in. You'll drown. I don't want to wear that Speedo again. <laughs> come up to Berkeley and not stop by my old house. I literally used to live here. Oh, it's the Sigma Alpha Mu fraternity. The fraternity house? Yeah. Here we go. Greek style. Let's do it. Fish. 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 Oh, what up? How are you, man? What's going on? Look at all these old guys. Yeah. And 
this is Nikki. Hi. Hi. They should have very a scary thing. I'm telling you, my picture might be up on the wall here. I'm just saying. What up? Hey, no, go ahead, man. Good to see you. I was you 16 years ago. I said it. That's awesome. The eyebrows and everything. Hey! This is more Y2K compliant. Listen, uh, you guys have access to the grill? Yeah. yeah we right, do. We're kind of hungry. What do we have out there? We have hamburgers, hot dogs. Sounds exotic. Yeah. Uh, this better be the best hot dog I've ever had. Lettuce? Lettuce. You're in. Lettuce. Onion? You're in. Onion. All right. Cheers. Cheers. here at Cal. I know you've done this a few times. What sets it apart from the rest of the games? Big game is something special. Absolutely. I think it's the best rivalry in the country uh, because it's two schools that are geographically very close together and we both uh, really have the same mission about this athletic excellence and academic excellence. We do it very differently, but I think we've got great respect, which makes for an incredible rivalry in the field and frankly in the community. So I think it's the best there is. it into the end zone with three shots, fourth down, and they're going to go for three. Vincenzo D'Amato sends it through the uprights. Cal on the boards. Stanford still with the lead, 7-3, beginning of the second.
great half for the California Golden Bears. They're down 21 to three going into the locker room. They had lots of missed opportunities, creating turnovers. Ultimately, Stanford's on top right now. But there's one more half of football to go. Come on, Bears! <laughs> what do you think about this game so far? Well, you know, we've had a couple of missed opportunities, a couple of great field positions earlier. Couldn't take advantage of them. But I'm a big booster of Coach Tedford. He's watching over there. I, I feel his suffering. He showed great guts there at the end of the first half, going for the first down. So I can tell he's not giving up, but uh, hoping for a big second half. I, I think a few of these guys, from the looks of them, could still suit up and yeah, get out of here. Yeah, well, you know what? If we don't do better in this game, they're going to suit up. We may need some love. Yeah. You one of them? I, I'm ready to go. That's hey, by your, by your past performance, I think we're okay with that for the Bears, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right. We're going to run trombone spike right. There you so go. suit up. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Teddy's already, he knows you the game. It's a road trip special. Yes. <laughs> 